of team building. What's going on everyone? I'm your host Elvis Chatta, and today we're doing a OU team building video for a hyper offense team. So it's been a while since we last uploaded because I had a lot of tests, a lot of life happening last week, but we're going back full speed. I'm working on a top secret, super special secret project. You can get hints about it on my Twitter. Link is in the description below. And, um, so we're going full speed. We're going to do an OU session with this, and we're going to have Pokemon Sweet episodes going around. I'm going to upload a grinding session for, um, Sweet today and this today, which is Sunday. And... So this is the start of the OU Hyper Offense Team. Physically Offensive Greninja with Water Shirk and Power Up Punch Nice Turn. So basically, um, with the item King's Rock, what happens is um, all his moves get an extra chance to flinch. Water Shuriken is priority, and it hits two to five times, okay? Which means that it always goes first and has a 20 to 50% chance to flinch. Every hit has a chance to flinch, okay? And then Power Up Punch boosts his attack. Night Slash, high crit ratio, chance to flinch, strong, hits Latios and Latias, because Greninja's faster than them. In return, it's really good neutral coverage, it's the strongest physically offensive move besides acrobatics. And I've got a different set for acrobatics, but that's another story for another day. Okay, and his name's Constantine, because if you haven't seen the second Muppets movie, he is the world's most dangerous frog. So, um, someone asked me to build a hyper offense team, and I'm going to do that. Now, uh, the thing with hyper offense teams is, I you still want a defensive presence, you just don't want um too much. So what that means is instead of having two, you know two wall Pokemon like we usually have one that's invested in HP and defense, HP special defense, we're gonna have one that's invested in like attack and defense, and one that's like special attack special defense. Okay, just take out the HP investments and move those to offense. All right. So something like a uh, Ferrothorn, an offensive Ferrothorn would be viable. Um, maybe a Heatran that's offensive. Just taking a look around. Seeing what might be a good idea. Um, hmm. Because. You gotta, find, you gotta try find things that have good defense and good attack. Now, Pinsir wouldn't be bad because we could do a pincer that's invested in attack and defense the issue with that is that stealth rocks so i'm actually gonna avoid that altogether. i could do kiram kiram black i'll think about kiram black i'll think about kiram black i'll think about gyarados because gyarados has thunder wave and that's awesome um but I'm liking Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn Gyarados. Gyarados would be weak to... If it's Mega Fighting, Electric, Fire is Ferrothorn's weakness. I might do that. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to make this nice and speedy. So we're going to have Ferrothorn. And I know it's going to be offensive. So we're going to have Gyro Ball, of course. Knock Off. We want Power Whip. And what's the other move you like? Sea Bomb, Shadow Claw. I might still do Stealth Rock. It's not like offensive Pokemon don't carry Stealth Rock. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else amazing. So let's do Stealth Rock. Because it's always good to have that on the team. And then you're going to have Fear Item. I still like Rocky Helmet on him. I still do. The only difference is... He's going to be invested straight in defense. Hold on. And straight in attack, okay? So... There. And then the 4 is going to go in HP. There. And so that's how that's going to work. So he's still not a defensive wall, but he's able to take the hits I, I want him to take okay so then we're gonna do Gyarados and I'm not sure if, I'm gonna, he's, if he's gonna be Meg yet quite yet I'm not sure um, but he's gonna be specially defensive and 
Well, let me look at the mega stats. What are your? The mega gains 130 special or 30 special defense. So yes, he's gonna be a mega. And so you're gonna have to have Gyaradosite. And you're gonna have Thunder Wave. And then Waterfall for the pair of flinch. Waterfall. And then this is where it gets a little more confusing. We got Toxic. He didn't have any recovery. And I kinda wanted to have recovery. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Maybe he's not a good idea. Maybe not. Maybe not. Where's Blissey? Isn't Blizzy Blissey have some some offensive presence? Togekiss? We could do Togekiss. Might do Togekiss. Might do Togekiss. Or Mega Blastoise. Blastoise? Hmm. Actually, I like that. Maybe Blastoise would be better. Maybe Blastoise would be better. Blast. Mega Launcher. And then... Although he also doesn't have any of that stuff. But it's fine. Um... Because you're just going to have Scald. I want you to be offensive. So then Aura Sphere. Ice Beam. Hmm. Hydro Pump. Um, yeah, I guess Dark Pulse. And then we're gonna get him straight in special defense. And special attack. Favoring the attack stat because. This is offense. Alright? So those are our walls. And then we're gonna have we need a wall breaker. Something that can just hit freakishly hard. <clears throat> Alright, something that can hit freakishly hard. Now Kirum I can <laughs> it is hyper offense, I don't mind. So yeah. For our wall breaker, our physical wall breaker, we're gonna have straight power. This is pure offense. Outrage, Dragon Claw. Ah. Uh, freeze Shock. <laughs> we're doing Freeze Shock. Okay, Freeze Shock Kiram. Now, I know some of you are thinking, George, I'm questioning your methods. And I'm thinking, don't question my methods. Don't worry about it. You worry too much. You worry too much. Okay? Uh, it's fine. Okay, we're going to have a choice scarf user. <laughs> and I know this is kind of a ridiculous set. But think how bad that outrage will hurt. That's all I'm basing this off of. Just how bad an outrage from that thing will hurt. Alright, so we need a choice scarf user. Preferably not a dragon type. Maybe Zapdos? That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's do Zapdos. So you're gonna have a scarf, and yeah, you have to have pressure. Thunderbolt will be your first weapon of choice, and then Volt Switch, and then um, hit HP Ice in case a free shock doesn't work out, and then Heat Wave. I really just want to try it, cause think about it. Think about it, okay? Now I want you to really think about this. Imagine a battle where you have your Curum out. I want to justify this. You have a Curum out, okay? And they have a, uh, 
You could switch it into a Heatran, and they'd go, oh, he has Earth Power. Then they switch into a Flying type, and you Free Shock them and destroy them. That'd be amazing. I just really want to get it off, okay? <laughs> Kirim's going to be our wild card. So lastly, um, we're going to want... Let's see, we've got walls, a wall breaker, a scarf user. Oh, we need a setup sweeper. Someone to just set up all over your face, you know? Yeah. Let's see, we've got one special attacker, two special attacker. So maybe a nasty plot kind of guy. Like Calm Mind. Potentially. Clefable? That's not really offense, though. I want pure power. Okay, I'd rather have nasty plot. Because I want pure power, like thunderous, but not thunderous because I've got an electric type already. But enough for Corona, because I don't want to have that many. I don't want to have two rock weaknesses like that. Dude, what's a good nasty plotter? I know how Doom can, but he's not going to be mega. Porygon Z maybe? He's slow though. You're slow, Porygon Z. You're slow. Hmm. Zoroark can. Doesn't really offer any new coverage, though. I need, like, a real fire type or... Let me think. I got grass, got water. Maybe ghosts. Can Gengar do that? Gengar, what are you about? Gengar, where are you? Gengar, what are you about? What moves do you get? You should learn Nasty Plot. I know you don't. I know you don't. I know for a fact. But you should. Alakazam can learn Calm Mind. Actually, that wouldn't be bad. Hold on. Maybe like... Something like... Hold on. Alakazam. Because I could do like a Magic Guard, Focus Sash... Calm Mind set. Because he's gonna... He's got, what, 105? 120 base speed? Hold on, I'm on... I am on... To something. Psy Shock, you could do Shadow Ball since we kind of need that. And then, you could have like, ah, uh, you know, you know. Dazzling Gleam, that's what I was trying to find. Dazzling Gleam, okay? So, yeah, so you get hit with the set, you get hit down your sash, while you call mine, then you outspeed them with plus one, and you destroy them. So that sounds fun. I'm not sure how effective that's actually going to be, but it sounds fun, and that's what's important. So we're going to name these guys. We had a Ferrothorn on our team named Hug Me, or Free Hugs, it was named Free Hugs. So, this one's going to make it pay, because he's offensive, surprisingly so, and he has knockoff, so he's going to be named Pay Up. Blastoise is going to be named Big G. Kyurem is going to be named. Oh my gosh. I just thought of the best thing. John Travoltage. <laughs> and Zapdos is going to be named Dexter. And Alakazam, you're going to be named. Uh. Walter. So, we have Constantine, 
uh, the physically offensive Greninja. We've got Pay Up, the Feral Thorn. Offensive Feral Thorn. We've got Big G, the specially defensively offensive Blastoise. We've got John Travoltage, the Choice Banded, Kieran Black. We've got Dexter, the Scarf Zapdos, and Walter, the Focus Sash, Calm Minding, Alakazam. So, that is going to be our team tomorrow or the next day. The next day after tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going to have the first couple battles with this team. See how it does. I don't know how it'll do. I kind of hope it'll do well. It's got a lot of surprise factor to it. So I think it's got some good stuff going for it, actually. It's got a lot of surprise factor. So, have an awesome day. I've been your host, Self-Destruct Chat, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow.